Have you seen the Caterpillar trucks scrape on the side of Highway 15? Maybe you've seen the brown smoke on the top of uh, Black Mountain, just big piles and plumes of smoke coming off. If so, if you're like most people, you haven't had a chance to actually go and check it out. So what I've done is taken my drone and visited these spots, and I'm gonna let you know what's happening in both places as well as a third spot. So let's start with what's happening up here on Black Mountain. Um, if you've been watching it over the past Oh, past couple of years, you've noticed that the development keeps getting higher and higher and higher. And recently it looked like an apartment building or something was being put way up on the top. Well, it's not an apartment building. Actually what it is, is it's 85 single family homes. And each one of them is about 2,300 square feet, four bedroom, three bath, They're selling for between 1.3 and 1.4 million dollars. And they're mostly done. A lot of them have been sold. So this looks, each time it looks like it's the very end. This looks like the last place you could possibly build on. Uh, but I did learn in 2020 that this land was actually, uh, prior it was zoned agricultural and residential. It got changed to single family residential, which makes you wonder what other land up on the side of Black Mountain could have a zone change, but we're not sure. Um, if you are to fly from here and go directly east, you'll actually arrive at another site and that site actually has two projects on it. The first project is Millennium PQ, and it's on the south side, and it is a giant complex of apartments. There's eight different buildings, and there's 330 units. It is mostly done, and I believe they're renting it, or trying to rent it now. Um, so that piece is the first one to get started. And then if you go just north of it, you have the Juniper, which has been built by Lennar. And that one is just getting started. And Juniper is for 55 years old and older, the whole place. There are 86 affordable apartments that will be built, um, as well as 133 single family homes. 186 cluster homes. And then finally at the bottom are 136 twin homes, which are basically condos that are side by side, two homes share a single wall. Uh, and so uh, the map here shows the layout of those um, locations, of those different offerings that they'll be putting forward. And of course, this area is the area where Pacific Village just finished 601 units last year. I want to look at one more area, and that is if you fly from this area on Highway 15 in PQ, you pick up, you fly directly west, um, over Black Mountain, you will arrive in a canyon that is just south of Del Sur and just west of Forest Ranch. And down in that canyon, for the first time, we've seen a congregation of um, cars and trucks and equipment and things being brought in there. And the first thought is, oh my gosh, are they going to build something down there? Well, they're not. Uh, closer inspection has shown that all of the, the development is for a goat herder camp. Um, the Del Sur community has purchased um, goat herding services to clear out the canyon of foliage and brush that may get um, burned in a wildfire. So that way it's um, brush fire safe. And so there are herders down there herding goats and there are horses to herd the goats and trucks to pull the horses and the whole thing. So um, that's happening down there. Development is not happening, but goat herding is. So if you want to see a shepherd for Christmas time, go down there. As far as the market goes, prices are looking solid. They're 5% year over year over this time last year. Now for those who are paying attention, yes, they did bump up an extra 10% for February and March of last year before coming right back down, but we're still at a really good space. And for buyers coming in, right now there are 257 homes active on the market in North County Inland. Now, that doesn't sound like a ton, but the prior year, there's around 100. And the year prior to that, even less. So for the first time, you actually have some homes that you can look at, perhaps find a fit. Now, sometimes people think, oh my gosh, there's more homes flooding the market. I'm gonna get an amazing deal. You're not going to get an amazing deal. You're gonna get a fair deal. And better still, you're gonna have enough time to actually put the offer in, not have a dozen people trying to compete with you, and get a good fit for yourself. So. If you're a buyer, this is the highlight of 2022 for you. This is as good as it gets. Um, so take advantage of it this month and also the beginning of January because when February 1st hits, if it's like the last three years, and it probably will be, people waiting in the wings are gonna come out and they're gonna start bidding things up. So for sellers, if you're thinking about selling, hey, it's almost Christmas time. Why don't you hang on to your house, spend some time getting it cleaned up and put it on the market in the spring. 
um, you're going to need to deal with higher interest rates. So come up with a plan on how to move from your low interest rate to a higher interest rate. And one thing you might consider is carrying your property tax, your low property tax you have now, forward onto your next house. And I've got a video on that right here if you'd like to watch it. Um, for everyone, have a great Christmas and I'll see you in the new year.